Without volunteers, nothing would happen. We have a policy that says we will not hire staff until we have proven that volunteers cannot get it done. The neat thing about talking with volunteers, the neat thing you find out is their history. Whether they've been here as a client, whether they know somebody, whether they came because they want to give back to the community, or it's just a fun thing for them to do on Thursday nights. There are so many different reasons volunteers spend their time with the Calgary Food Bank. I vividly remember coming and picking up hampers with my mom. You know, she was on a fixed income with uh, the house cleaning business that she started on her own. It wasn't necessarily that my family was in poverty and in, in need. They were just in a bad situation. Transitioning from my mom leaving my abusive father, she just needed a hand. We're all now in a position where we can actually give back to the food bank. That's a big reason why I do volunteer here is the people behind me right now don't know who they're helping. They don't know that 15 years ago they were helping me to become a better person for my life now. You can kind of be a silent partner in helping somebody or some young man like myself succeed and make something of themselves. We tend to take the generosity of Calgarians and we spread it so it helps us share food with a hundred other agencies in the city of Calgary over the years, thousands of individuals in crisis. So there's a multiplier effect for the Calgary Food Bank. It seems like it's one huge piece and we look and go, we can make this even larger and that's phenomenal when we can make that kind of spread happen. The food bank is for everybody. People are maybe finding that even out more now in the recession. People that never thought that they would find themselves on the food bank's doorstep, here they are. It's just help. It's why they're here.